one of the key ways to really um, get your body language going is when you are going to engage somebody, your first default stance is simply this. It's simply standing, okay? I always do this. When I walk towards a person, you would first close your feet and then open it. I call it standard T's, one inch rule. So I'm walking towards Jason, so Jason, just stand. So I'm giving you small, small, small tips here. So I'm walking towards you. As soon as I get to where you stand, I would open my feet slightly or I'll close my feet and then I'll open it. And then my hand gestures. They are just about three or four, but you can use whichever one. To talk to somebody, and he's used one, one is called hand over hand. When you are talking to the person, your original, either when you are listening or you are talking, could be this. And then what we call the finger clasp. So hand over hand, the finger clasp or hand in hand. Either way in front of you is fine. So you can try it. This, this, and this. Any of them is fine. So this one gives you posture, position, professionalism at the same time. So you're standing and talk. So a person immediately perceives you as good body language, what we call positive. So when you begin to engage, you engage with your hand gestures and make sure that your hand gestures do not go by an inch. Normally, half an inch when you're talking. But some people are talking and they are in your face. It's just, it's just, it's just go into, even when you're bantering, it's just like this. And then the other person, if you are the listener, you keep your hand in position. If you are, the, you are the talker, then you can talk with your hands. And do what makes you feel comfortable. But don't go in your face. And always try and give the person eye contact. Remove, give the person eye contact, remove. But don't be talking to the person all over the place. It looks like you're absent-minded, you're thinking, you're confused, and you're not clear. And most of the time, it translates into your verbal communication. So your body language is red. So the frame of your face, the position or posture, and then your hand gestures are very key. Those things engage people. So those three areas are what makes people get into that like mode with you. How you, you know, enter when you're talking. And when people stand and they're engaging you and you give them a few of this, you say all of a sudden the person warms up. The person is different because the person is realizing that the person is professional yet warm enough to listen. The person has, they, they get it, it picks up. So it's very, very key. There are three key elements of personal communication. 55% of it is what you don't say. 55. 38% is how you sound. Only 7% is what you say. So when you stand in front of somebody for buy-in, everything else matters before what you say. So before you said it, they picked up the signal. So that like signal, it comes from before. That's why your self-awareness is very important. Non-verbal communication. This simply means in non-body language, don't talk to me, period. You, the main part of your body, which is your open, we call it our open space, our chest area must always be open when you're engaging people. And our hand gestures, and I'll show you a few, work. So this means don't talk to me or I'm closed. This one is, Charlie, I'm the boss. Whatever I say, do it or you don't. Arms by the side, neutral. Country broke, country no broke, we day inside. Normally, arms by your side is not a good body language. Corporate versus culture. In this country, when you put your hands in the back, it means you show respect. But when you're talking, talking, communicating, the first thing people want to see is your hands. So, your, the, the three key areas that you need to focus on. One, is the frame of your face. What is your face saying? Your eyes and your mouth. Eye contact is looking at people in between the eyebrows, not in their eyes. When you look at somebody inside their eyes, you are staring. When you look at somebody in between their eyebrows, you are giving them eye contact. So as I look into your eyes, I'm staring. As I look at your eyebrows, I can still see your eye. So professional look is in between the eyebrows. Social look is when I look at your nose. And then intimate look is when I look, as you know, <laughs> as you talk. Kissy, kissy. <laughs> so, in every communication, to avoid trouble, do what? Look here. So give them eye contact and then speak to them. So what makes the person not feel like you are staring at them is when you're looking in between their eyebrows, but you're still communicating.